guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can use the new player invite prompts in Roblox I'm gonna be showing you how you can code it and I'm also gonna be showing you how you can use it with a launch data so if you invite a player they will automatically teleport to you when they join your game and first thing that you want to do is you want to go to Roblox dot com slash develop or the new creator dashboard with create.roblox.com slash creations and you want to click create experience to get into studio if you don't have studio installed already you can install it in the link below and um yeah let's get right into it so now that you're in roblox studio what you want to do is you want to go to base plate it can be anything but i would just choose base plate so now that you're in base plate, I'm going to be showing you guys two ways that you can do it. One is with the proximity prompt and the other one is with a screen GUI. So the first one that I'm going to show you is a proximity prompt. So I'm going to enter and add in a part. I'm going to resize this part to my liking. I'm going to anchor the part and then I'm going to put in a proximity prompt inside the part. If you don't see the Explorer or Properties tab, you can head over to the View tab on the top and then select them there. Next thing that you want to do is, this is optional, but you can change the action text. So I'll just say Invite Friends and I would hit make the whole duration one second because why not. Next thing that I want to do is I want to head over to Starter Player and then Starter Player Scripts and I would add a local script into starter player scripts. Next thing that I want to do is I want to add in the social service. So I'll do local social service equals game and get service social service. For best practice, I'll just put a comment saying this is service. Services and variables. Just because to make it easier, I'm going to add a player. I'm going to add the player service. So I'm going to do local players game and get service players and then local local player equals players dot local player. This is so it would just be easier for me. You can do whatever method you want. You cannot add players and then continue the following thing and add them later on. That's your choice. So next thing that I want to do is I want to type if social service colon can send a game invite async and then I'm going to do the local player then I'm going to do then if I do not have local player then I would do game dot players dot local player next thing that I want to do is I want to define the part with the proximity prompt so I'm going to say workspace dot part dot proximity prompt dot triggered connect that to a function and next thing that I want to do is I want to make another variable that's called experience invite options then I'm going to create a new instance so instance a dot new experience invite options this is so you would get the invite options to invite people to your experience or game. Next thing I want to do is I want to do experience invite options a dot prompt message. This would be so if you make the invite it would have a display message below the invite friends option which I will show you in a moment here. I'm just going to do uh, invite your lovely friends. Next thing that I want to do is I want to do invite or experience invite options are and I would do a invite message ID equals now what is a message what is an invite message ID? An invite message ID is basically a notification that would be sent to your friend that you invited on their 
cell phone or whatever place they have their notifications on. So the invite notification would look like this. When you create it, it would send a notification to their phone and this would be the notification that it would send on Roblox. This is the creator documentation page, which I will also leave a link to in the description below. So you might be wondering, how do I get the invite message ID? It's pretty simple. Back to the creator dashboard and the under creations, you would want to publish or save the game that you're creating with the player invite prompt. Then you will want to go to that specific game. I'm going to use this game that I've made as an example. Then next thing that you want to do is you want to head over to the notifications tab and then you'd want to create a new notification string. This would be the name of the notification string. So I can just say test underscore one. That's fine. And this would be what the notification shows. You can change it around, flip it around, however you like. Once you've done, once you're done with it, then you'd want to press create notification string and it would say a notification string created and you'd see the asset ID. What you want to do is you want to copy that asset ID or click the three dots over here and click copy asset ID. And then let's head back to Roblox Studio and to our script. Now that we're back in Roblox Studio, the invite message ID would be the asset ID that we've copied from the notification string. Lastly, what you want to do to invite players into your game or your friends into your game, you want to do social service colon prompt game invite, and then you do local player and experience invite options. Now let's test it out. I'm going to click play. Can dismiss this. As soon as I click play, you see the invite friends option. I'm going to hold that for one second and it's going to prompt the invite. And you can see the message here, the prompt message. I said invite your lovely friends and it would show invite your lovely friends right here. It does have a character limit so it cannot be long, but it can just be as short as you want like recruit and battle or invite for XP, etc, etc. And then you might be asking, how about I make it so other players can teleport to me when they've clicked my notification or when they've joined my game? All you want to do is you want to add the experience invite options dot launch data equals local player dot user ID. Again, if you don't have a local player, then you would do games dot players dot local player. Now this script is done. Next thing that you want to do is you want to head over to server script service. You want to click the plus icon and add a script. Next thing you want to do is you want to add game.players.playerAddict. This is when a player joined the game. You want to connect that to a function and put in the player argument. To make it simpler and to not put a big hold on Roblox's services, and to get the appropriate launch data, you want to do task dot wait two seconds. You can make it one second, five seconds, however you like. This is also would be how long it would take until somebody teleports to you, your friend teleports to you. Next thing is you want to do a local join data equals player get join data. So it would get the join data of the player that joined. Next thing you want to do is doing the look doing the launch data variable, sorry. So local launch data join data dot launch data. Next thing you want to do is get the user ID of the person. So you want to do local user ID equals to number and then launch data. Basically, this would get the number, the user ID of the player in the launch data. After that, you will want to do if not user ID or player 
is friends with the user ID and you want to return that and do nothing. So if there's no user ID or the player is friends with the person with the user ID with the user ID associated, then you want to do nothing. What you want to do is you want to get the inviting player. So you would type in local inviting player equals game dot players colon get player by user ID and then user ID. After that, you would want to get the root, the humanoid root part of the inviting player. So basically you. So you'd want to do local humanoid root part or you can just type in whatever you want root or something like that then you want to equal that to inviting player and inviting player dot character and inviting player dot character colon find first child humanoid root part after that you would also want to do the same thing with user ID so if not humanoid read part then return lastly is you want to make it so the player teleports to you so all you have to do is you have to do player sorry dot character colon move to humanoid root part dot position this would grab the player and would teleport them to you. Now your final question and the last thing I'm going to show you is how do I do this with a starter GUI? I don't want to make it so people have to walk over here and then have to hold that for one second and it's pretty simple. So it's kind of the same procedure. I'm just going to leave this there just in case and I'm going to go to starter GUI. I'm going to press the press icon. I'm going to do screen GUI. And then next thing I'm going to add a frame. Just gonna move that frame over here. And then I'm just gonna add a text button, cause why not? And I'm going to resize that text button so it fits the frame. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna do size. One comma zero, comma one comma zero. I'm gonna move that in there. I'm just going to change the button text to invite player. Next thing that you want to do is you'd want to go to the text button and you'd want to press the press icon and add another local script. And it's technically the same thing, so we're going to copy. We're going to paste it in here. And the only thing you'd want to change is you'd want to add the GUI frame or just the GUI so we're gonna do local friend invite GUI equals script dot parent and then you would say friend invite GUI dot mouse button one click connect that to a function and then all you have to do is just copy that paste it in here and delete it and you're done. It's basically the same thing. So now if I press play. And if I click the invite player, it should give me the same prompt. It's not working now, is it? Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, I forgot that. Since this is in the UI, we cannot have workspace.part.proximity prompt. We cannot define that, so we're just gonna delete that real quick. And we're gonna delete that as well because that is the other one. Now we're gonna format this. Format selection, there we go. And now let's press play again. Now if you click invite player, it would prompt the inviting prompt with invite your lovely friends, the same thing that we typed in here. And 
that is pretty much it. That is how you create a player invite prompt in Roblox. Uh, just lastly, I'm going to test both of these out just to show you that it works. I am going to go to the proximity prompt part. I'm going to hold E for one second and it would prompt the invite friend prompt with the prompt message. And when I click the invite player prompt over here, it would do the same thing as well. And that is how you create a player invite prompt in Roblox. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And all the necessary links would be in the description, of course. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.